So you're thinking of making the move from New Jersey to Daytona Beach, Florida. Well, in this video, we're going to be going over the cost of living differences between the two areas. We're going to go over categories such as groceries, uh, healthcare, housing, and even more. If you want to find out that information, make sure you stay tuned. What's up everybody, it's Jim Dan! With the for sale team right here in Daytona Beach, Florida. If you're new to the channel and you wanna know everything about working, sleeping, playing, eating, buying and or selling anywhere here in the Daytona Beach area, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified every time we release a new video. We have people reaching out literally every single day and we love it. Uh, whether it's buying, selling, moving or relocating, Make sure you reach out, shoot me a call, text, email, message in a bottle, or schedule a Zoom in the link down below. However you need to reach us, we've got your back when you're moving to Daytona Beach, Florida. Let's get into it. So essentially how this video works is we have our national average, which is a baseline of 100. Now essentially, if a category goes above this mark, it's more expensive, and if it falls below this threshold, it's cheaper than the US average. As we're going to be going through this video, we're going to be comparing the cost of living between Daytona Beach, Florida and Union Beach, New Jersey. These are gonna be two similar areas that are really going to showcase very similar characteristics. Um, that way, we're keeping things fair, even, and you know, pretty consistent throughout the entire thing. So our first category on this list is going to be groceries. Now, groceries obviously is going to include anything and everything from the grocery stores, uh, all of your meats, dairy, cheeses, produce, etc. Right? Uh, now, Daytona Beach, Florida comes in at a 97. 9 out of 100 with Union Beach just barely squeaking above the national average and Daytona Beach just squeaking barely below uh, There's not too much of a difference per se uh, But if you're coming from the more expensive regions from New Jersey you will, You might notice a significant increase in the savings that you're gonna get at the grocery store if you're moving from there to Daytona Beach next up we have health care now Union Beach is coming in at a 98.3 out of 100 below our national average. Daytona Beach is coming in at 102.4, just barely above the national average, but still above nonetheless. Now what our health category is comprised of is the average daily rate of a hospital, the average daily rate of a hospital room, the average cost of a doctor's checkup, and also the average cost of a dental checkup as well. Next up we have our sexiest topic on this list, which is utilities. Now utilities is going to be comprised of your general heating, cooling, electric, and also natural gas. Now Union Beach is coming in at 102.7 out of 100. Daytona Beach comes in below the national average and beating out Union Beach with a 97 out of 100. So, so far, all of these categories, they're staying within the same trends as I mentioned before. Uh, these are gonna be two similar areas, but make sure you stay tuned because housing is where things start to get a little more interesting and you might notice a bit of a difference between the two areas. Moving right along, we have our transportation category. Now what transportation is going to be comprised of is the average cost of gasoline, the average cost of car insurance, um, the average cost of car maintenance, and also, also mass public transit systems such as like buses, subways, uh, even monorails and such as well. Now Union Beach is coming in at 105.1 out of 100 which is above the national average. Daytona Beach comes in way below the national average at an 88 out of 100. Next up, we have our miscellaneous category. Now, what our miscellaneous category is comprised of is going to be the average cost of restaurants, clothing, entertainment, and other services such as, you know, home repair. So Union Beach is coming in above the national average at 114. When you compare it to Daytona Beach, Florida, Daytona Beach is coming in at a 98.6 out of 100, which is just barely below the national average, but it is there nonetheless. Now, one of the fantastic advantages here in Daytona Beach 
is with entertainment, money goes differently in different areas. In Florida, you have Tourist Central, right? You have the theme parks, you have so many different options to spend money and different ways to stay entertained. Miami, whole different game, whole different ballpark, and a lot of different ways to play just as hard as well. So if you're thinking of moving to Florida, make sure you keep those two areas in mind as because Orlando being only an hour away from Daytona Beach and Miami being about three and a half hours away. If you're looking for areas to play a little harder but you don't want to call those areas home, keep that in mind when you're moving out here to Daytona Beach, Florida. So last up, we have our housing category. Now this is where things get really, really interesting. Now you have Union Beach, New Jersey, which is coming in at 120.3 out of 100, way above our national average. Daytona Beach, Florida comes in at a 64.1 out of 100. Daytona Beach literally costs 46% less than Union Beach, New Jersey. Now, the other categories that we've been dealing with, there hasn't really been much of a major fluctuation between the two areas in other categories. Housing comes in out of nowhere, and it is drastic, and it is insane just how much further your money goes here in Florida. Now, what exactly that means? Now, to paint a bit of a more visual picture, let me put some numbers into this. Now, in Union Beach, New Jersey, the median home cost comes in at $371,000. Daytona Beach, the median home cost is only $195,000. We're literally talking about a difference of $176,000. So that's the cost of living compared between New Jersey and Florida. If you're still thinking of making the move, make sure you reach out, shoot me a call, text, email, message in a bottle, or schedule a Zoom in the link down below. And while you're down there, why don't you also check out our other videos and binge watch our other playlist on other areas. We have videos on all of them. We have videos on literally every area here in Volusia County. So go ahead and check them out. However you need to reach us, we've got your back when you're moving to Daytona Beach, Florida. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to check out our other videos, check them out here and here. Go! Go!